Today, we are going to be drawing ourselves as a superhero. I'm going to start by tracing my cup towards the top of my paper. I want to make sure I leave some space at the top for some hair and enough space underneath for the body. Now you can choose to add a neck if you want, but I'm just going to make my body coming right out from the shape of my head. I'm going to draw a trapezoid shape. Now I'm making mine look like a girl, so I'm going to put a skirt. If you want her or your superhero to have pants on instead, that is fine. I'm going to draw some of the details for my face. I'm going to add some hair. If I want to, I can make the hair sticking off the top of the head. It's up to you how you design your superhero. Keep in mind though that we will be cutting these out, so we want everything to be drawn as a shape and not a line. So try to make everything drawn as a shape and not a line. I am now going to draw the mask, put a little curvy line there, and a curvy line underneath and I'm going to add a nose I'm going to draw two circles for eyes you can make your eyes however you choose I'm going to do a little eyebrow give her some freckles and I'm going to draw the mouth a little curved line with two little curves on the sides and then I'm going to add the details for the mouth Let's put a tongue inside of there. It looks like the letter M. And then maybe some teeth. I'm giving her some silly teeth. Now let's do the details for the outfit. Your superhero outfit can be designed however you choose. Typically, superheroes have some kind of a logo on their outfit. So pick a logo, something that's not copyrighted, that you would like to put into your picture. Add a couple more details. Now, for the arms. The arms are tricky. You draw an L shape. See the L shape? They come down a little bit and draw another L shape right next to it. For the hands, you can draw either the fingers or you can just draw gloves. Maybe your superhero is wearing gloves instead. Now you can see I made my L shape going the opposite direction for the other hand. This can take time to practice. Now, this hand is kind of upside down, so I'm going to turn my whole paper to make it easier for me to draw it. Next, let's work on those legs. Again, the legs are going to be an L shape. Your legs should be an L shape, so it looks like they're bending, just like your arms are an L shape, so they look like they're bending. Think about your proportions. Make sure your legs are not too big or too small. I'm going to make this leg kind of bending a different direction, like it's going backwards, like she's running. So I made that L shape, and now I'm going to turn my paper so it's easier for me to draw the shoe on the other side. That looks good. That little piece right there, don't worry about it. I'm going to cut this out, so if you make a mistake, a couple little mistakes, we can might be able to just cut them out when it'll disappear when we cut out our superhero. I'm going to add more details to my superhero. I'm going to give her some striped leggings. Maybe I can add other things as well. Now, I'm going to choose a color for my skin tone. Find one that you like for yours. And then color in the different parts of the skin first. I like to start with the skin because it just is a good place to start. And then I can be creative with all the other colors. Take your time, color everything in carefully and neatly. That's looking good. Once you are done coloring in the different parts of your skin, you can be creative and give yourself maybe a fun colored hair. It doesn't have to be realistic. These are kind of cartoon style characters. So you decide how you want yours to look. Now, if you want to be green, like maybe a big green superhero that some of us may know about, then you could be green or you could be purple. Your skin doesn't have to be realistic. If you want it to be purple skin or green skin or red or orange or any color, that's fine too. I am going to now use my crayons and pick out some colors that I want to use. So I'm coloring in my hair carefully and neatly. If you have curly hair, color in a curly texture. I like to color with little circles when I'm coloring my curly hair because it makes it look even more curly. If you have straight hair, then color with straight lines. 
that's a fun little trick to make your artwork go from good to great. Take your time and color everything in carefully and neatly. Now I'm going to spend a few minutes working on coloring in my outfit, but first I'm going to make sure I get all those details on my face. I can color in the mouth and the tongue. That looks pretty good. Again, you do not have to pick the same colors as me. You can pick any colors you want. You can be as creative as you want with this. So. I'm going to color my mask. Now, typically for superhero outfits, you want to stick to maybe two or three colors for the whole thing and maybe just alternate between those two or three colors. If you want to make it a rainbow design, though, that's okay, too. I am now done coloring my picture. I'm going to clean up my materials, put everything away, and my superhero selfie is all finished for today. Mm -hmm. 